Hello everybody, welcome back to Eurotrix Unlimited 2. This is the first video I've recorded since I got back off my holiday and it wasn't really planned. I wasn't going to start while Monday, but here we are. And this is 1.11, as you can see in the top, 1.11.1s. And there's been a lot of changes, as you can see here. The Eurotrix Simulator 2 launch pad. I've never seen this before. So, basically, you've got all your profiles here. I get that. You've got your latest news at the bottom. Now, you had this before, but it was just text. Now you've got pictures. You can pick the news you want to read first. Like that, 20 tons of sand. Then you click on it, and it asks you if you want to go to the web page, or so I'm going to click no. And then you get these as well. So, the newest DLC. So, fantastic. Fantasy Paint Jobs Park, US Paint Jobs Park, Polish Paint Jobs Park, Metallic Paint Jobs Free DLC, Flip Paint Designs. And then you have the Select Profile Summary, and then you've got basically a summarization of what you have done. So in this one, this is my Pro Mods one, Roads Explored 40.59%. Delivery is finished, 134, which is surprising, I thought I'd done more. Owned garage is small, 5, large, 44. So altogether, 49. Owned trucks, 177. Total game time play. Uh, co total game time spent, 307 days and 0 hours. Playing time, 66 hours. Online status connected. So let's continue again. That's new, I've never seen that before. So it looks like they've updated that, which that's pretty cool. Uh right, so what's happened? Um trucks changed a bit. For some reason got lots of damage, not quite sure what, what's happened there. Um some lights are missing. I think this is because I've been removing mods. But anyway. The overall menu, it's changed a bit, it's just been updated, there's more, it's more attracting I think, it's more, it looks a bit more sci-fi, I don't know if that's the word to use, but yeah, so, I have the change log here and I'm going to tell you all the things that's been added or changed, so, three new cities, Venice, Graz and Klagenfurt with a lot of new kilometres to explore, so, Venice is there, Klagenfurt and Graz, so I believe that's Austria. Correct me if I'm wrong. Obviously this is Italy, I do know that. So that's Venice, or Venezia in Italian, is that how you say it? I'm not sure. Um, seat adjustment feature, we're going to have a look at that, that's the main one. Several months of tweaks of car AI codes, so that's basically the new AI and they've been tweaking it a bit and I'll tell you the result of that in a moment redesign radio player for for with additional sorting and filtering options I'm reading this off a website so the yeah the English the translation might not be um correct New cruise control features, displaying current road speed limit in route advisor disable or switch car or truck specific limits in options. That's quite cool, I've had a look at that. Complete UI facelift, support for sway bar simulation, not sure what that is. Refine the truck suspension for more control of the truck and trailer stability. That probably has something to do with physics. Recalculate the centre of gravity of each cargo, more individual behaviour of the whole rig. Again, physics, controls to adjust trailer stability in options, not sure what that would do. Probably not going to have a look at that today. Improved collisions of players, truck and AI vehicles. Recreated all scratch and crash sounds in the game. Equalise the sound of volume of in-cabin engine sounds and external engine sounds for all trucks. More realistic time for the air brake sound. Retarder indicator is lit during automatic retarder usage, so we should see that sometime. Ability to sell a garage, that's quite cool. Ability to relocate your headquarters to another city. I'm gonna link, um, I'm not gonna link, I'm gonna post this change log below in the description, you can read it for yourself. 
Right, so we've seen the map. Um, obviously, pro mods are missing, and I'll tell you why pro mods is missing. It doesn't work. Pro mods is not compatible with this update, and that is because they've changed the AI again. That means pro mods has gone. Your other map mods has gone. Therefore, I'll not be playing with pro mods. This is the pro mods. Um, profile, I've just taken it out. And Pro Mods apparently won't be updated for at least two weeks because they're on a break apparently. So you're not going to get it for at least two weeks. Right. Another thing I've removed is physics. The physics mod. It was in 1.9. And I've removed that because I believe they've changed the physics and we're going to have a look at that and see if we can notice anything. Let's drive. Oh, that's cool. So it tells you the time in the game and the current job, free as the wind, which I've worked out that is free mode basically. So you haven't got a job. Ah, we're right here. Engine mode. So, service. Stop that, stop it. So let's have a look at the new seat feature. Uh, cabin adjustments, stuff in there. It just likes to adjust mirrors, adjust seat. Alright, so I'm just going to press R. There we go, so it's reset it to the default. So J and L turns the head. Why you'd want that in a seat adjustment, I'm not sure. You'd just be able to do that with the camera, so reset. A and D basically move the head side to side. Uh, I can see that if you want to lean more that way. So which is the default there? I'll probably have it about there. I and K looks up, so one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Basically look up and down. Um I'm gonna have it about there. Right, WS moves the seat forward and backwards, uh, I'm going to have it about there I think, which means, oops, yeah like that, I can't, that is actually a big difference for me, Det you know, depending on the mirror and looking at the screen, uh, leave it there. F and C moves the seat up and down. So if you like Peter Crouch and real tall, you'd be like that. But if you're, I don't know, short legged legged person, you'd be like that, looking over the steering wheel. Um, some trucks, this is actually quite good for, like the Iveco. Sometimes it'll spawn you right up there, and you can't see the dashboard. And you can move yourself down now. We have it about there, so I like that. Right, so while we're here, let's just test the physics. Right, so braking, that's better. That's a lot better. Before the truck would, like, I'm not even kidding. The windscreen would pretty much, like, nearly touch the floor. It would bend over that much, which. That's not right, is it? Come again. Break. Yep. Uh, let's test the turning. Thing. Look on the sat nav, not the truck one, the one that's up like over the screen. You can see there's a 30. That basically tells you the speed limit around here. It's a 30 zone. 
whereas if it went on the motorway, which I'm not going to, it's changed to 75, 70, I don't know. So that's that. And I want to test one more thing before we look at the next thing. So this is this is only a short video anyway. Um, we'll look into it more when we just play as a series. Right. So if we go to Garage Manager, there's Garage here. See if we can sell it. Yes, we can. So we'd get 280 because it's been bought and upgraded, which is 280. So that's pretty cool. So. Right, and the next one I want to show you is this. Listen to this. Did you hear that? It was like, like a scraping sound. So if we if we go to this here and we just scrape along it. It's, it sounds a little bit, so if we had a head-on crash. So, I don't know, we go in here and we hit a trailer. I just turned the microphone off so you could hear it. That is pretty cool. From the fake clanky sound that you used to get before. So this truck here. Oh no! I just pretty much killed that truck. It's saying it's a 60 zone here. That's wrong. I'm at 30. So, yeah. Uh, what else is there that we can test now? Ah, I wonder if the centre of gravity thing is when you t turn sharply, the truck isn't going to tip over. Which it doesn't seem to want to. Ooh. Yeah, that thing actually sounded like a really deep crashing sound like something heavier hit it and that is pretty cool uh, we can't really test automatic retarded because we're not on any hills um, that is about it so we've tested the seat which is the main thing and I, I quite like it a lot of people have been asking for it as well as the physics to be Changed. So I'm just gonna turn the music off. So yeah, uh, the final thing is physics mods won't work, and map mods, I believe, won't work. So if you do, if you have this new update, or you're going to get it, do not try map mods, physics mods, because it'll just crash the game and then. You'll be moaning, and then, and you know, like if you go into the forums, people will tell you time and time after again, it's not going to work. So here's it from me. I've I've experienced it. The game's crashed. I took the map mod out. Works fine now. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. And I will see you next time for more Euro Truck Simulator 2. Ta-ra.